We're so used to them that we barely notice that electrical wires are all around us. They're in aerial and underground cables running along our streets and to our homes. They're behind our walls and inside our electrical appliances. To make color-coded electrical wires, they use what's called rod, made of either solid copper or solid aluminum. They feed the rod into a machine that draws it out through a series of lubricated pulleys and dies, stretching, lengthening, and thinning it out. And eventually, winding it onto a large bobbin. What was once a rod four-tenths of an inch in diameter is now just eight-hundredths of an inch, the width of about a dozen human hairs. They load the bobbin onto what's called a stranding machine. They cold weld the end of one bobbin to another, guaranteeing an uninterrupted flow once they start up the machine. At high speed, the stranding machine twists seven wires together, forming an electrical conductor, also called a bare conductor. This is a low voltage conductor, under 1,000 volts, the kind you find in the cables that run electricity to your home. Bare conductors need to be insulated, so the people handling them won't get an electric shock. A plastic extrusion machine coats the conductor with polyethylene or PVC. This insulates the conductor. This is what the polyethylene looks like in its raw form. As the conductor exits the machine with its new insulation, a precision laser gauges the diameter to make sure the insulation is uniform and the right dimension. The extrusion process has heated up the conductor, so it has to be cooled down with water. Sometimes two or more conductors are twisted together. When that's the case, a printing machine applies a white stripe to identify which is which. The client who's ordered the conductor specifies the colors of insulation. It chooses them based on how it wants to color code its electrical wiring. Several conductors are often grouped together to form a cable. The plant performs a voltage test, immersing the cables in water to make sure they don't short circuit. These medium voltage cables can carry from 1 to 46,000 volts of electricity. They're the type used for underground power lines. They're insulated the same way low voltage cables are. The plant prints the date of manufacture, the voltage, and any other information the client has requested. The cable goes onto a reel to be tested before it's shipped out to its destination. In the middle of the cable, surrounded by copper grounding wires and a host of other components, is the heart of the electric cable, the bare conductor.